I found a love for me Darling, just dive right in and follow my lead well, I found a girl beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell found a woman stronger than anyone I know. She shares my dreams. I hope that someday I'll share her home. I found a love to carry more than just my secrets. To carry love, to carry children of our own. We are still kids, but we're so was Perfect by Ed Sheeran, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a uh, tutorial of everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with the thumbs up. Uh, if you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each one with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right. Um, I did like three different things with my right hand, none of which were hard. None of them were hard. None of them were hard. Really true. If you have a disabled right hand or you only have one finger on your right hand, there are such people then you might not be able to do them. But even if you're a beginner, you can do the things that I did with my right hand. They may sound cool, I thought, but they weren't hard. Really, really true. So before I go over the uh, the 
right hand, I'm going to cover all of the chord transitions with the left hand. And most of those were pretty straightforward too, that is to say, not crazy hard transitions. Okay, so I've got here, I'm going to move this closer. Starting with a G. I found love. Now the way I'm forming the E minor, I'm just dropping, you can, you can do like this if you want, but I just drop my pinky. I just leave the G there and that's my E minor. So I found a love for me. And then uh, you could do it a couple different ways, but I'm sliding my middle finger up one fret for that C. Darling, just dive right in. And now unfortunately there is nothing in common between that and the D. Just have to pick them up and drop the D. Follow my lead. Well, I found a girl. Now, from there to the G, your index finger, and excuse me, your ring finger, is already on the right string. It just needs to slide up one fret. So pick up everything else, slide that up one fret, and drop your G. I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. Well, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. Because we were just kids. You notice it says stop. So I like to stop it, like really stop it, not let it hang there. We were just... No. Stop it for drama. That's what it's for. We were just kids when we, and then the rest of the song is almost, the rest of the song almost is actually this. Is it really? Is the entire song almost, almost the rest of the song is actually that, uh, Almost, it's almost. Then the chorus, when we go into the chorus, so the rest of the verse is exactly that. It's just G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D. But then when we get to the, the chorus, we go from the D to an E minor. Ah, switch, so. Baby, and now at least you've got some time to drop that E minor, right? I'm dancing. Now this, for this, from the E minor, I'm just gonna roll my middle finger back to form that C. Dancing in the dark. Now you notice my ring, my middle finger. So first I just rolled it back, and now it's on the right string. Just slide it down one fret and drop the G. Dark. With you from the G to a D, my ring finger's on the right one. It's just gonna slide back and drop the D. You, you. Oh, sorry. I'm singing it wrong now. I'm dancing in the dark with you. There we go between my arms. Now from the D you have to pick it up and drop an E minor. Nothing in common there. Oh well, sorry. Arms, barefoot on the grass, listening to our favorite song. And again, you just keep on doing it. Second half is the same. When you said you looked a mess. Uh, well, sorry. Said you looked a mess. I whispered underneath my breath. You heard it. Don't you look perfect tonight? And then it, uh, it's not quite the same pattern. So, and those are quick. Those, this is the quickest chord change, right? For that little run. Uh, so G, sliding my ring finger down to the D. Have to pick it up and drop the E minor, sorry. And pick it up again and drop the D. And now I kind of slide my ring finger diagonally out for that C, and back in for the D. And that's the whole song. Okay, uh, I am now gonna play slow motion through the first verse and the chorus, but I tell you what, I'm gonna jump from the first half of the chorus to uh, the outro chorus finish because that way I can go right clear to the end of the song. That is to say, I can I can show. Oh no, I didn't show the I didn't show the interlude, did I? That has a little bit of the melody. Okay, let me show you how to do that. That's the interlude. There's a little bit of finger style in there. The chords are are the same. It's just right. It's G E minor. You can just play it like that if you want. It's just like the start of the verse, but the, I'm doing a little finger style that mimics the uh, the melody. So I'm starting with a G. So I'm picking up. I'm I'm not plucking all of the strings, right? So G, but then I pick up off of the first string, and I pluck the second thing string. Then okay, so. And then 
gonna drop to the E minor. And then I wanna do kind of the reverse. So I'm plucking the second string, open. Uh, not open, excuse me, my finger's on it. But then, and then the first string open, and then drop it. Uh, and then what am I doing from there? So, oh yeah, it's to the C. And now all I'm changing, I'm, I'm plucking all the strings from the ceiling down, but I'm not always plucking all the strings. So here I am, four strings, two strings, and now I'm only gonna, oh, I'm gonna drop my, uh, oh, I'm okay, I'm wrong. I am dropping my middle finger on the second string, third fret, and I'm only plucking three strings so that that sounds like the melody. So now I'm only gonna pluck two strings and I'm gonna put this here. See, this is what I wanted to hear. And that's how I do it. Plucking four strings, four strings, three strings, two strings, and then all four again for that D. That's it. That's all I'm doing. So, okay, I'll tell you what then. I'm going to go from verse one to the first half of the chorus, but I'm going to go straight from there into chorus B, as if I had just played that the second time, so that I can go from there to the interlude and then i'll tell you what i'll do uh, i'll do from there to the end of the song because that way i can play the uh the run as well yeah sounds good okay so here goes in slow motion i'm gonna i'm doing fancy things with both hands so i'm gonna close up on both hands here we go slow five Six. Oh, I didn't go with my right hand. Shame on me. Okay, arpeggios. Here we go. I'm just going to hold the G. At the start, all I'm doing, I got four fingers on my four strings. I'm plucking the first and second. Sec the first and second, and then fourth and third from the, from the ceiling down, right? By the way, yes, I have a, a low G, so this sounds kind of like a bass line. I would play this the same with a high G, though, and I think it'll sound a little different but very nice, so give it a shot. So that's all I'm doing at first. And then the second half, and I only play this for half of the first verse, that's it. And then I go to a fuller arpeggio where I'm plucking all four strings. That's it, it just has a fuller sound. That's it. And for the rest of the song, if it just says arpeggio, that's what I'm doing. But then the, the chorus and some other places, I do, uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to go to the E minor because that's what I start with the chorus, a strum arpeggio. And what I'm doing there, it's a combination of this and strum 4-3. So I start out, every, basically every chord change gets a strum, gets one down strum, and the rest of it is the same as it was before. So it's down strum. strum on the chord changes and uh, the pluck in between okay now I'm gonna do like I said from from the start through the first half but I'm, then I'm gonna jump to finish B so I don't have quite as much repetition in slow motion because it takes forever so here we go five six seven I found love
Wednesday night.